Hey besties, welcome to Cozy Rosie Reviews from My Couch. Today, I am doing a series review for Ginny and Georgia. All 10 episodes are currently on Netflix. It stars Brianne Howie and Antonia Gentry. And in it, Ginny is an angsty 15 year old who is usually more mature than her mom, Georgia. As Georgia tries to build a new life, her past threatens everything. So the series is basically like a modern day Gilmore Girls kind of thing. Season one, it was more of setting up Jenny, Georgia into this new town that they're living in and really getting to know them as characters. Now in season two, things get dark, things get more true crimey, and it was interesting. It was less funny than season one. It was darker. There are a lot of very serious topics and themes in season two, but I think it was very well done. It kind of reminded me of like 13 Reasons Why, and it's not what I was expecting. I Not necessarily that I was disappointed, but I was kind of like, oh, I hope this gets better because it is 10 episodes. It is 10 hours of your life. I came for just a tiny bit of humor. So eventually things do lighten up a little but there is still this very dark cloud over the season it also goes a lot into georgia's past there are a lot of flashbacks flashing back into georgia's past and a lot of the things that she's done to keep her kids safe and to give them the future that she eventually gives them so in a way this is more of a deep dive into georgia why she is the way that she is and really getting to know that even though she is a complicated and very imperfect mother, it comes from a good place. It comes from a place of protecting her kids and giving them the life that she never had. So it's, uh, it's interesting. It's definitely a process. You, you process a lot of emotions within the series. A lot of things hit close to home. And I think overall, when things get better, as the season goes on, it is definitely worth it. Like the hard part at the beginning definitely pays off because later on in the season, it gets better. So if you're watching and you feel like, oh, it's not what I signed up for, hold on, it's coming. The season also focuses a lot on mental health, which I also appreciate because there are a lot of topics here that teenagers aren't necessarily talking about. So I think it's good that someone's talking about it in some sort of a way. Similarly to season one, we get to the end, we think we're getting a happy ending, and then the poop hits the fan. Wild. I, I'll watch a season three. I will definitely watch a season three of Ginny and Georgia. It is still a very enjoyable show about a mother-daughter relationship that's very complicated, needs boundaries, and they should probably go to therapy. But it's entertaining, so I thoroughly enjoy it. So for rating, I give Ginny and Georgia a four. So good. Season had a lot of raw, real emotion and teenagers going through real teenager problems. I am definitely excited to see more of this. If they renew it for season three, I will be there watching it, binging again. There's still a lot of ground that they can cover and fingers crossed, Netflix doesn't mess this up. Me and Georgia season two, have you seen it? What did you think? Leave a comment down below and if you like my video, make sure you like, subscribe and share and don't forget to check out my merch shop below. So, until next time, friends. Bye.